Thank you for coming to our matinee of the Armadillo Amigos. Uh, it was better last night simply because we had food. But, uh, but I'm sure it'll be very entertaining and you'll enjoy the kids as they do this Patch the Pirate play this afternoon. Um, just do want a quick shout out to some thank yous. There's a lot of people that were very, very instrumental in helping. And we put them on the bulletin, so you, as you look at those names, make sure you maybe want to thank them or something, because uh, all this does not happen without a lot of uh, cooperation and group effort. So we really are appreciative to all the adults that were part of this, as well as the parents. Thank you. As you know, there's been, since the very end of January, a number of practices and a lot of things you had to get your kids to. And so uh, this doesn't happen without your support, and so we thank you as well for that. So, without anything else, please turn on, Dean told, turn on. Please silence your phones if you could. Thank you. Yeah, silence your phones. And uh, now we will present to you Armadillo Amigos.
are heading. What? What's that mean? The Rio Lindo River is just up ahead. But it looks awfully rough and narrow. Are you sure the Jolly Roger can make it, Captain? Uh, we just need to trust the Lord My friend Guillermo is going to his ranch right away. Yo-ho-ho! -ho! What kind of ranch are we going to? Guillermo is just starting on Armadillo. He's attempting to rehabilitate Armadillo all over the country. Armadillos? That's right. What's rehabilitate mean? It means Guillermo is trying to we train them so that people think of armadillos as friends instead of pets. But aren't they wild animals? As far as I know, they are. Why would anybody want to retrain them? I mean, who cares about armadillos? Approaching the Rio Lindo, Captain. I, Princess, trim the sails. Shiver me timbers! I'll trim the sails. I have some scissors right here. No worries, please. Don't touch the sails. Tell you what, you've done so much already. Just relax. And let us handle it. But without PJ Pirate, you're a hand short, and I want to help. Oh, all right. Give Princess a hand with the mainsail. The mainsail. Aye, aye, sir. Jonah. 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 Hey, um, which one is the mainsail? The big one in the middle. Oh, I get it. The mainsail. Now quick, grab the running rigging. I'm running, I'm running! Oh, I miss PJ. We all do, princess. But I know the Lord is really gonna use him at the Naval Academy. Ernest, watch out for the boo! What's up? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ernest, are you all right? Shiver me timbers, blow the man down. More like knock yourself down. You need to keep a sharp lookout on board ship. There are lots of spies and rigging that can knock you silly if you're not paying attention. I'm about as much help as a bilge rat. You're learning, Ernest. It just takes a while. Hey, maybe Guillermo could retrain me, too. I suppose anything is possible. I'm going to turn from a landlubber into a real pirate. Sails are trimmed, Captain. Argentina, here we come!
Carlos, my fellow ranchers, come and sit. We have not come on a friendly call, Guillermo. What's wrong, neighbor? Your armadillos have been loose again. Oh, no. Tell them about your crops, Juan Carlos. Three entire rows of my corn were uprooted last night. Guillermo, I have much land, and I will not have it destroyed by these silly pests you call amigos. Juan Carlos, please. I have had enough. If your armadillos escape, they will destroy my land, my cattle, and my horses will step in armadillo holes and break their legs. Just give me a chance, my friend. No more chances. Diego, you try to reason with him. I am finished. You better listen to him. Time is running out. What do you mean? I talked to the police this morning, and to get one more bad report about your armadillos, they're gonna confiscate your armadillos and your ranch. Take away my ranch? See, this is serious. Perhaps you better reconsider my offer to buy your ranch, amigo. Don't be ridiculous, Diego. My ranch is worth much more than your offer. I'm a poor man, Guillermo. Besides, you could move everything to your father's ranch. He has plenty of room and he'd love to have you. He does not like armadillos either. And it is no wonder. They've been digging my pastures also. Abandon this silly venture of yours. It's too late for that now. I have over a hundred armadillos. Where will they go? Send them to the bottom of the river. Eat them for dinner. Look, Guillermo, you have the best land in the region, and you let those pesky animals destroy it. Armadillos are pests. Everyone knows this. Once I have rehabilitated them, they will not be pests. They will be amigos. Look, Guillermo, you have two choices. Either get rid of your silly armadillos, or sell me your ranch. The choice is yours. Hasta la vista. Adios, Diego. Dear Lord, Padre Celestial, you know the desire of my heart. All I wanted was to help my fellow ranchers and the armadillos at the same time. Por favor, help me to be a good neighbor, whatever it takes. In the nombre de Jesus, amen.
Rosita, what is it? Are you all right? We must hide. There's a pirate ship sailing up the river. A pirate ship? Are you certain? See, si, Papa. Why, this is wonderful. Wonderful. I know of only one oh. pirate in all the seven seas brave enough to sail the Rio Lindo in a full-size ship. Gracias a Dios, mi amigo Capitan Pat just a key. God has answered my prayer. Argentina. It has been too long. This is my daughter, Rosita. Hola, pleased to meet you. Glad to meet you, Rosita. Guillermo, Rosita, meet my crew. Princess, sissy, and coming across the plank now is... Uh-oh, be careful! Oh boy, mateys! Ah! 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 <coughs> Shiver me timbers, this water's freezing! Are you all right, amigo? Sure, I'm all right. We pirates always cool off like this on a hot day. Well, it's a good thing you fell into the shallows. This river is dangerous. Yo ho ho, danger is nothing to a pirate. It is wonderful to meet all of you. Bienvenidos. Welcome to the Armadillo Amigos Ranch. Come, let me give you a tour. That would be great, Guillermo. I know Ernest has a lot of questions for you. I sure do. 
Why armadillos? Why not something cool like jaguars? Although with their teeth, that might well, not be a very good idea, but what about like a monkey or like a tiger? Or <gasps> Otters would be so much cuter than armadillos. Sorry. Hey, is that their cage over there? Is that where they live? Can I go pet oh. them? I had a hamster once. His name was Billy. He didn't have a big cage like that, but he did it with Billy. Armadillos are marvelous creatures. God has given them so many gifts. Unfortunately, they choose to use them in very bad ways. Well, like what? Well, they destroy crops, damage buildings, and dig dangerous holes and tunnels. But with a little work, I believe we can change all that. How? Well, they are born diggers, so we are going to teach the armadillos to help the farmers fill the soil and plant the crops. Yo ho ho! That would be great! They also eat all kinds of harmful bugs, even fire ants. If we can just teach them how to use their talents for good things, they could revolutionize farming. Armadillos have been hunted and killed so much that they're now endangered. Nobody really likes them. I wanted to create a place where they could be safe and learn to be blessings instead of pests. Shiver me timbers! Maybe even I could learn something! <laughs> Definitely. Amen!
Rosita. Si? Have you seen Paco anywhere? No, Papa. He disappeared again. I haven't seen him since breakfast. Pieces of eight! Who's Paco? Well, Paco cooks and helps around the ranch. You sound worried about him. He's been disappearing a lot lately, but he won't tell us where he's going or where he's been. That's strange. Come, the Armandillos are right through this gate. Walk the plank! There's fences everywhere! I had to fence my entire ranch to make sure the Armandillos don't wander off until they change their ways. Here we are. Shiver me timbers! There must be a hundred of them. One hundred and seven to be exact. It's an armadillo farmadillo. Why are all the armadillos hopping up and down like that? They are very easily startled. Most of them jump up when they're afraid, but some of them... Ah! Scream. <laughs> like our Lola. Oh yeah, my name is Lola. I'm a screaming, hairy armadillo. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> look, Captain. They all look like they're wearing armor. Except that one. Is that a raccoon? Just get out. Get, get out. out. Anyway, uh, they are. In fact, armadillo means little armored one. That one's not so little. He looks like he could pull the Jolly Roger straight into a headwind if he wanted. Hola, I'm Gordo, and I'm a giant pest. <laughs> oh, dear. Acknowledging the truth is the first step to recovery. Ah! Sorry, Gordo, I'm sorry. Gordo is our gentle giant. Giant armadillos are among the most endangered. Shiver me timbers! He sure is big oh. He can be especially destructive because, well, if a 130-pound animal was digging up your garden, <laughs> you can imagine. What's that noise? Bola. She never comes out of her shell. Uh, hi, my name is Bola, and I'm a three-banded armadillo pest. Papa found her on the side of the road and then brought her here. <laughs> Armadillos, listen to me! Si, sí, senor! Are you a pest? No, senor! Are you a nuisance? No, senor! What are you? Armadillo Migos! For how long? Armadillo Migos!
little twins. These two are with us lost their family, so we took them in. Rico and Chico, stop that and say hello. We have guests. Hola. Ole. How can you tell who's who? Easy. Chico's, Chico's the, the ugly, ugly one. one. Oh. Why don't you tell Patch and his group what you learned this morning in retraining class? Look both ways before you cross the road. Come out of your shell and talk to people? Don't dig without permission. Water safety is important. Always remember to hold your breath when you go swimming. Always remain calm. Ah! Oh, sorry. Don't take seconds till everyone's had first. Yeah! <laughs> what are you? I'm a Dio Migos! Silver, what's that bell for? It's the dinner bell. Paco must be back. Shiver me timber, shut the oysters, I'm starved. Oh, we should probably warn you. Paco does all our cooking, but he's from Mexico, and he only knows how to make uh, one thing. Arco tacos, come and get them. I love tacos. I could eat them all day. Well, it's great, because you're going to. Tacos for breakfast. Tacos for lunch. Tacos for dinner. Tacos for dessert. Ah! I'm sorry. Tacos at midnight. No, no. Mm trustworthy armadillos to keep watch from the inside. Comprende? Good idea. Rico, Chico! See? Si. We need your help. Do you know about the complaints of Juan Carlos and Diego? See, si. We do. But we don't know why everyone's against us. We wouldn't hurt a fly. We, we just, just eat it. That looks like a juicy one. Gotcha! Oh. That's delicious. Ew! Yucky buggy! Yuck! Yum. Yum. 
better than tacos. I have a selective appetite. All I eat is bugs both day and night. Anywhere they come, they taste just right. Creepy crawly, so delicious. Bugs, 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 bugs. How I love to eat bugs. Big ones, little ones, fat ones, skinny ones. I find them in the house, hiding underneath the rugs. I pop them in my mouth with a crunch, crunch, crunch. I pack them in a bag for my lunch, lunch, lunch. One at a time, or in a bunch, bunch, bunch. <laughs> Yummy, how I love to eat bites. Dooby dooby doo, taste the bumblebee. Dooby dooby doo, slurp a tasty flea. Fuzzy bugs, fuzzy bugs, any bugs will do. Mommy, daddy, long legs, spiders, to name a few. Bugs, 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 bugs. How I love to eat bugs. House flies, fruit flies, dragonflies, butterflies. Roaches and mosquitoes are crunchy like Doritos. Caterpillars, slugs, and beetles too. Pop them in your mouth and start to chew. Anything that crawls or flies will do. What a tasty source of protein. Bugs, 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 bugs. How I love to eat bugs. Big ones, little ones, fat ones, skinny ones. I find them in the house, hiding underneath the rugs. I pop them in my mouth with a crunch, crunch, crunch. I pack them in a bag for my lunch, lunch, lunch. One at a time, or in a bunch, bunch, bunch. <laughs> Yummy how I love to eat bugs. Yummy how I love to eat bugs. Yum, yum, bugs. I'm bold. Oh, Por favor, Rico Chico, can you help us keep watch tonight and make sure no one is leaving? Of course. I'm with you, amigos, at your service. All right, let's split up. Guillermo, you and I can take the north side of the ranch. Princess, Rosita, Ernest, take the south side. Sissy, fly over the ranch and keep an eye on things from the sky. Aye, oh, yeah, aye, Captain, let's go. Guard duty, yo ho ho, all hands on deck, steady as she goes, gangway. All you armadillos better steer a straight course. Uh, Ernesto, self is this way. Let me do that. And you know what else? I'll investigate every buckle on the ranch. I'll, oh, shiver me tacos! Oops, sorry, Ernest. Didn't mean to spill my taco on you. <laughs> Ernesto bumped into Gordo. Ernest, watch where you're going. It wasn't my fault. <gasps> Lower the longboats. I hear a noise. <gasps> Sissy's coming. Ah! I'm sorry. My name is Lola. I'm a screaming, hairy armadillo. Ah! Sorry. Sissy, did you see something? Someone's sneaking along just ahead of you. All right, everyone, be very quiet. <gasps> There's someone in the shadows. Is it an armadillo? If it is, it's 
bigger than Gordo. Yep. Hey, take it easy. Try to watch my figure. <gasps> it's Paco! Shiver me timbers! He sure is in a feather flurry hurry. I wonder where he's going. Should we follow him? Mutiny on the bounty. I'll go, I'll go. No, no, no. <laughs> Captain told us all to stay here and keep an eye on the armadillos. All right, we'll stay put. Hey. Where did Rico and Chico go? Ah, uh, I don't know. We oh. were right next to you a minute ago. Shiver me timbers. Where's my spyglass? They'll walk the plank. Oh. Let's keep moving. Maybe they just got a little ahead of us. Come on, Ernest. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, I think there's something crawling on me. It's a big ah. bug! Ah. Ah. on that. Papa is working with Bola every day to try and get her to open up. That's something that a lot of us could work on. Your time has run out, and the ranchers are demanding action. But we were up all 
night watching the armadillos, Diego. We didn't see any of them leave the ranch. Senor, for your information, armadillos dig tunnels under the ground where you cannot see them. Guillermo, tomorrow morning the policia will arrive to come to your ranch. No, Diego, they cannot do that. My armadillo amigos are innocent. My offer is still good, amigo, but this is your last chance. If you're smart, you'll take it. What do you think, Capitan? I'm just not sure, Guillermo. Well, will you sell me your ranch? The answer is no, Diego. Then you're a bigger fool than I thought. Buenos dias. Captain Patch, what can I do? I never thought it would come to this. I think we should visit your neighbor, Juan Carlos, and take a look at those holes. Papa! See? Rico and Chica are missing! What? Oh, oh no! They disappeared last night while we were guarding the others. I thought they just went off by themselves, but this morning they're still missing! Have you asked the other armadillos? Gordo, Bola, Lola? I haven't seen anything. I've been in the kitchen. I haven't seen anybody in here. <laughs> we haven't seen them since last night. <gasps> Do you think something could have happened to them? Ah! Oh no! Oh! Maybe Rico and Chico aren't rehabilitated after all! What do you think, Guillermo? Papa, you don't think they might betray us, do you? N no, no, not on purpose. It doesn't look good, my friend. Good or bad, we need to find them. Maybe Sissy can spy them out. Good idea! Sissy, take to the skies and see what you can spot. Aye, aye! I wonder where those missing silly dolls could be! <laughs> Juan Carlos, we're looking for Rico and Chico. Have you seen them? Only their dirty work. You ought to see my field down by the river. It's full of holes. Do you mind if we take a look at the damage? Look around all you'd like, no matter. By tomorrow, your armadillos will be gone away. Have you or your men ever actually seen any armadillos on your land? Do we need to? We have brains as well as eyes. I am sorry about the damage, Juan Carlos, but my armadillos will never do this. I wish you and your daughter no ill. But when it comes to armadillos, us ranchers are agreed. Armadillos are pests, not amigos. No, don't be a fool. You're going to lose everything if you don't give up this silly idea. But if you'll just listen. No, no more talk. Diego told me he thinks you're loco, crazy. Adios, muchachos. Well, I don't think there's anything more we can do here. We should get back to the ranch. Maybe Sissy has spotted Rico and Chico. See, si. let's go home. Ahoy, Captain! Ahoy, Sissy! Any sign of our armored friends? Not even a stale trail! Did you fly over Diego's ranch? I sure did, but there wasn't any sign of Rico and Chico there. Was Diego's ranch full of holes too? No, Princess. I didn't see any damage at all. But when I flew over Juan Carlos's ranch, there were holes everywhere. That is strange. Diego said he had all kinds of damage. No, no damage. Hmm. Really? Then, when I was flying back to Guillermo's ranch, I saw something shiny hidden in the bushes by the river. I don't know what it was, but I thought you and Guillermo might want to take a peeksy weeksy. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. If an armadillo knows anything at all, it's that sometimes you have to dig a little deeper. Then we'll dig a little deeper. Sissy, lead the way. Aye, aye. Bible is a treasure that's 
better far than gold, more valuable than diamonds, it's must to not be told. For just like precious jewels are hidden in the ground, it takes a lot of digging for treasure to be his own property. At least, I don't think he would. Then why would some sneaky sneak hide the post hole digger on your property? Because if it was left anywhere on Juan Carlos's land, his men would have found it. Or perhaps the culprit lives on your land. Paco? We do need to explore all the possibilities. Not Paco! What should we do? Confront him? At dinner? Over tacos? <laughs> No, time is running out. We need to find solid evidence now. Unless I miss my guess, whoever hid this post hole digger here will be back to get it about the time the sun goes down. If we hide here, by the riverbank, in these bushes, we'll probably get some answers real soon. We must catch him. The police will be here in the morning to take everything. Then we'll need all the help we can get. Gordo, Bola, Lola, are you in? I will strike tonight. I am too. It won't be scary, will it? I don't do well with scary. Ah! Oh, see, I don't do well with scary. We'll squish him like a bomb. We'll trap him like a bilge rat. And then you'll trip over a twig and let him escape. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's keep a dig a dig digging. Whoever's been causing all this trouble has forgotten about the verse. Be sure your sin will find you out.
to keep watch on anything that left the ranch. So we tunnel after Paco. But we lost him. So we staked him out. And followed him again tonight. Why, he saw us. What's going on, Guillermo? I found Rico and Chico following me to Juan Carlos's ranch. Juan Carlos's ranch? See, his cooks has been giving me cooking lessons, so I might be a better cook for all of you. Cooking lessons? Shiver me timbers! No more Paco's tacos? So that's where you've been sneaking off to. Of course. Why didn't you tell us? I wanted to be surprised. But if you're not the one sabotaging the crops and digging the holes, then who is? Quick, get down! Someone's coming! Go, 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 go! Lola, don't scream whatever you do. Stay low. He's a little ways off yet. <sighs> hey, Ernest. What's red and bad for your teeth? Oh, Chris Tacos. A brick! <laughs> I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't get it. Singing in the shower is pretty fun. Until you get shampoo in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. And and then it's, it's just a soap opera. opera. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, quiet, everyone, quiet. Ah! Sorry. Hold on. Hush. 
I don't believe it, Diego. How could you? I thought you were Papa's friend. Things aren't always as they seem. Hey, Guillermo. I don't understand. It's mine. Why? I've always struggled on my pitiful scrap of land. Well, you've prospered. I would have gladly helped you. Once a police have finally confiscated your ranch, why are you going to get it? Keep two, of course. You just wanted my land? Of course I wanted your land, Guillermo. Why didn't you come down to buy it from me last year before you started the sale enterprise? I had no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time for me to make a run for it. Wait, Diego, stop! Oh, stop. Oh, this is right down no. my alley. Forgiveness of my sins. Or our place as children of Only was true for me. You see, Diego, Jesus loves us and gave everything even his life, so we could be saved. Saved? Like I was just saved in the river? Yes, but something way bigger than that. Ah, Diego, let me tell you about my wonderful savior.
trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, trust in simple faith to plunge me, lead the healing blood. forgiveness by doing good works? Right. Doing good works would just be stealing his glory. He did all the work, so he gets all the glory. After suffering death on our behalf, God resurrected him after three days. Victorious over sin and death. He's alive, Diego, and he wants you to live his life and spend an eternity in heaven with him. It is a free gift, Diego. Jesus paid it all. We just take it by faith. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That is a promise, Diego, and God guarantees it. He takes away your sin and gives you his life, cloaked in righteousness, both problems solved. It becomes your personal reality the moment you trust him. And that is what tis so sweet to trust in Jesus is all about. When you believe on him, you just take him at his word and believe on his promise. To know you are going to heaven for sure, that is really sweet. Wow, that sure does make sense. Thanks for explaining it to me. <gasps> Do you think you can walk, Diego? No, senor. My ankle it hurts too much. Gordo. Si, senor. Give my friend a ride back to the ranch house, por favor. Si, senor. Gracias, Gordo. Rosita. See? Take Rico and Chico and go for the doctor. My friend is hurt. You still call me your friend? 
Jesus still calls me his friend after everything I've done. The Bible speaks of a friend that sticks closer than a brother. That is the best kind of friend. Jesus said to love our neighbors as ourselves. You are my neighbor and you are my friend. And I will do everything I can to help you. Wow, that's amazing. You, the things you told me, Jesus, all of it. This is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Guillermo, can you please forgive me for everything I've done to you? I already have, my friend. You see, I have also been forgiven by the greatest friend of all. responsible for all the damage and that he will make amends. God has answered our prayers. He's also telling them that the Armadillo Amigos saved his life, that they are heroes. That's awesome. Now that the ranchers know the truth, perhaps they'll give the Armadillos a chance. That's wonderful. Splendiferous. Uh-oh. Good morning, my friend. Please join us for breakfast. This is not a social call. I really must be going to meet with my men on time for the project we're doing today. But I had to stop by and tell you how sorry I am for being so impatient with you and your armadillos. I look forward to having armadillo amigos soon. That is wonderful. You will find them so helpful. And that rotten Diego, he really is a sorry scoundrel. Not so, Juan Carlos. Like you, he is my neighbor and my friend. I have forgiven him everything. You're a better man than me, Guillermo. 
I don't think I can do that. Sure you can. Let me tell you about Jesus and his forgiveness. Then you'll see it. Interesting. Some other time. You'll have to invite me to a social call, and we can talk about it then. Absolutely. Count on it. Adios, amigos. Adios. This love your neighbor as yourself thing is pretty cool, isn't it? We have a lot of work to do yet before the next planting season. But my neighbor, Diego, is going to help me. And I'm going to make him a partner on my ranch. Just like the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. <sighs> Good morning, Ernest. Morning. Your, your feathers are looking a little ruffled deppled, Ernest. How do you feel this morning, mate? I guess I've kind of got the wind knocked out of my sails. What's for breakfast? Anything you like. Hang on. I've learned many things, and many things. First, Belgian waffles. Second, escargot. Third, chili relina. Fourth, filet mignon. Fifth, fajitas, and tiny white cakes with strawberries on top. Oh. I don't know what to call them, but I can make them. Well, actually, I was kind of thinking See? I'd really like tacos. Tacos? See? <laughs> oh, brother. Tacos, tacos, coming up. So, Captain Patch. Yes, Ernest? What do you think about my future? Um, uh, as, as what? As a pirate, of course. I even wrote a song. You want to hear it? Sure. <clears throat> Arr, matey! Shiver me timbers, yo ho ho. It's a pirate's life for me, yo. Blow the man down on the seven seas. It's a pirate's life for me, yo ho. That's great, Ernest. You want to give it a try, Captain? Don't mind if I do, mate. to be here. It was my privilege. I know you are afraid of many things, but remember, you have many friends here, including one gentle giant. Stop. This calls for a celebration. Ah, sorry. Bring on the bugs. Cook it up for everyone. Cockroaches, yuck. 
Oh, yeah. If it's not siesta time. It's fiesta time. What are you? Armadillo Amigos. Forever! Armadillo Amigos. Forever!